Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellick, and the footage you're about to see is for entertainment value only. Please do not try this at home. I've been doing this for 30 years, and uh, safety is always number one. So, you want to shoot fast, huh? <laughs> I'm finally waking up today. <laughs> A lot of people ask me, well, how do I get to the next level? Well, you get to the next level by being the first one on the range and the last one to leave. Hey guys, I'm going to show you an interesting pistol. This is an STI 2011. It's a 9mm heavy slide, heavy dust cover. And you can also tell that it's gold plated. It's actually 14 karat gold plated. It's got a little bit of a history behind it. Uh, this was back, I don't know how long ago, 15 years ago now or so. They had one of the Area 4 matches here on our property. And STI and a bunch of the other vendors had their tables out. And I remember one of the lunch breaks, I was taking a, a walk through the vendors area. I saw this gaudy looking 1911 pistol in the display case and it kind of stuck with me that it was so odd looking gold plated uh, it just stuck with me. But later on that night Kay came in the house pretty excited she said look what I just bought and look what showed up. <laughs> anyway she thought enough of it to actually buy the thing and I do have to say after you shoot it a little bit and after you're around it it's, uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a very unique finish uh, being that it's actually 14 karat gold but it's a standard 2011 uh, heavy slide, heavy frame, 9mm high capacity pistol, adjustable sights. It got all the bells and whistles, the ambidextrous safeties, extended mag release, uh, mag well on the bottom. It's been altered, the grip has been altered, made it a little bit smaller. It's set up for Kay's finger. It's got a long, narrow trigger in it, uh, something I don't like, but that's what she shoots. But that's the way the gun is set up. So when we go out to the range today, when we take it out, we're going to use our timer here, of course, this thing registers down to a hundredth of a second. So we're going to do some rapid fire with it, do some play with it, and actually see what this thing will do. It's pretty much, like I said, set up for K, but I think I can shoot it. We'll see how that works. But to give you an idea of some of the ammunition we're going to be using today, and I've got this thing flagged and I'm going to put it on the side here. I don't like to have ammunition and a gun on the same table at one time, so we do have it flagged. Give you an idea of what we're going to have. This is Hornady's uh, Flex Tip. This is 115 grain critical defense ammo. It's pretty much top of the line self defense ammunition for a 9 mil. So we're going to bring this out and do some rattle battle with it on some different stuff and see what it looks like. So we got our timer, we got the gold plated gun, and we're going to head out to the range. Hey guys, we finally made it to the range. I've got my 2011 14 karat gold plated 9 millimeter pistol. I've got six rounds of ammunition. We're going that center target. I got my MGM targets downrange on that C zone MGM target. I'm going to put six rounds and see what it sounds like. Here we go. Well, not bad. Cold. Let's take a look at it. See what we did, had a 15, 15, 13, 13, 14, ooh. Total time, 146 and a uh, 76 first shot. Okay guys, that last bill drill, six rounds on target for the first and last shot was actually a .70 one-hundredths of a second. So that's 1,400 splits, not bad, cold this time of day. We'll try it again, I got six more rounds, Hornady 147 grain FMJ ammo. My trusty gold plated 2011 pistol. Let's see if we can go a little bit faster. They, they started to warm up there toward the end. Let's go ahead and review that. 17 or 14 or 15 a 14 and the last one was an 11. So first shot was 0.8 and the last one was 151. That's uh, 7100. That's 7100. So I actually started off slow but they got a little bit faster there toward the end actually getting the feel of the trigger. But anyway that gives you an idea of what we're doing here. About 7 tenths of a second for six rounds on target. But we're going to move to bigger and better things. 
I know what you're thinking. Six rounds is only six rounds. But I'll tell you what I do have. I do have a 27 rounder. This is a stick mag for this 2011 pistol. And because it's gold plated, I think I can shoot it pretty fast. We did this previous with an open gun, but we're going to take it with a stock limited gun. And let's see what this will sound like. 27 rounds on one piece of steel. Here we go. <laughs> ah, a little ratty, a little bit ratty. Let's see what happened here. First shot was an 84. Total time was a 4.90. So that was actually uh, 4.06. Pardon? 06. 4.06. 4.06 hundredths of a second. So that was 4.06 hundredths of a second for 27 rounds on target. Let's kind of get an idea of what we did split wise. Let me go back take a look at this. Let's start at the beginning. There's a lot to look at here. Had a 15, a 14, 14, 14, 12, 14, 15. I must have took a break. I had a 9, a 16, 15, 16, 15, 24. Must have went to sleep on that one. 18, 15, 17, 16. Got kind of ratty up in the, toward the end there. What we're going to do, we're going to do this again. We're going to try to dress it up and make it a little bit prettier. Hey guys, that previous run was a 4.06 hundredths of a second. So that was a little bit under 16 hundredths of a second per shot on target. So I'm going to try to duplicate that, maybe go a little bit faster. So let's try that again with that same 147 grain quantity ball ammo. And uh, I'm going to just try to relax and play with the trigger and see if we can keep him on the target here. They're on there guys, all 27 of them, empty chamber, whoo, <laughs> all right, time, total time was a 473 and the first shot was an 88 hundredths of a second, now I'm just looking at the splits here, I think that was a little bit better all the way across, 3.85, 3.85, all right, and the split times would be, Point eight. Okay, that was a big difference, guys. The total time was at 385, and the split averaged 14.8. 14.8 hundredths of a second on target. So that was a lot, a lot quicker. All I tried to do there was play the trigger a little bit more, and that's pretty good, guys. Pretty, pretty much a standard five-inch uh, 2011. So 27 shots on target. Hey guys, you've probably seen me do this before, except with a rifle or a shotgun. This is going to be with a handgun. It's going to be the V-drill. I've got five targets, and I'll, if you come down this way, I'll show you what we're doing. It's pretty straight up. We've got a center target, and we can always come back to it. So on the timer, I'm going to start in the center, give him two, go to the right, shoot him twice, come back to the center, shoot him twice, come over to the left side, two again, then back to the middle, two, and then go far right on the far right target, shoot him twice, come back to the middle, shoot two in the middle, two on the far left, and then two back in the middle. So I've got five targets, but I'm going to shoot them like they're nine targets, and the total round count is going to be 18. So it's a lot of motion. And as you can see, the distance has increased twice as far as the previous target. So I have to stay in cycle. I have to stay ahead of the sight picture. So. And when you, when you do this correctly, it sounds like you're shooting one target. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with the uh, metallic sight 2011 pistol. Okay, guys, we start the target in the middle. Go to the right, back to the middle, back to the left, and so forth and so on. 18 rounds, five targets. Here we go. And there it is. And there it is. I'm having a little bit of problem with that 2011. It's got an active grip safety. All of my guns, I deactivate them, so I have to change the way I hold that pistol. And when I do that, it changes the presentation of the sight to my eye. 
I got to looking back on that center target and I came in on the, the right side of that far left target. I have to change my grip and it changes the point of the pistol considerably. So what I'm going to do this time is try to go back around and hold it a little bit different. Try to keep the point in a more natural point and come back and clean it up. The only miss we had was on the far left one, so on that transition. So I'm going to clean that up and try to hold the gun a little different and see if we can do it. Hey guys, got a fresh magazine, got my trusty 2011 gold plated pistol. How can I go wrong? I got a V-drill. Let's go ahead and get all 18 rounds on target and make it sound like we're shooting one target. Here we go. V-drill. Yeah! Get some! Get some! <laughs> Alright, we unloaded. Let's take a look at the time here. Total time, 406, first shot, 79. So that would be 406 minus 79. My trusty mathematician is plugging away as we speak. <laughs> Sounded pretty good. We averaged about a 19... 3.27. 3 3.27, 3 hundredths of a second. 18 rounds on nine targets, so not bad. We averaged that would be 18 divided into that would be. Come on, figure it out. 18 hundredths of. 18 hundredths of a second average per shot, per engagement of target. So, not bad. We got them all on steel. Let's move on to something simpler. <laughs> hey guys, we'll kind of look at the targets with you here, give you an idea of what we did. The set of target needs to have 10 rounds on it, and it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got them all in the center. We got two target on the right. We got two on the target on the far right. So we we'll come back to the center. Of course, we got two. We got ten. We got two on the left, and we got two on the far left over here. So as you can see, the distances increase double, but the shot splits stay the same. And I do have to say that gun is set up just the way I would not set it up. The trigger is long. It's got a heavy trigger. Uh, all I can say about it is that uh, it goes bang every time you pull the trigger, but that's not the way I'd shoot it. But anyway, we got it to work on target, so we're going to move on to a plate rack and shoot some steel. I've got my trusty gold gun. I've got a high-capacity mag. I've got 27 rounds. Say I'm going to knock these six steel targets down. And that, by the way, is an MGM target rack. I've had this thing on the range for, what, 16 years now. It's been used continuous, and you can see it's still in wonderful shape. So, I'm going to try to impress those steel targets with this... Only the ammunition. We're going to start on the left, go to the right, and see what it looks like. Here we go, left to right. <laughs> I told you I had a magazine that's going to make it happen. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do that again. I was doing so good, I picked my head up and had to see my own performance. And that's the best way in the world to screw something up is to look at it. So we're going to do it again. Here we go, left to right. Now oh, that was fast. <laughs> One more time, left to right. Here we go. So there we had it guys. Finally got a good plate rack for you. Time was a 202 from the first to the last shot, so pretty easy to do if you keep your head down and you actually use the sight. So, hey guys, I got my trusty 14 karat gold plated 2011 STI pistol, high capacity magazine loaded with Hornady 115 grain flex tip critical defense ammo. I mean, does it get any better than this? I've got my volunteer two liter bottles down here, cheap diet drinks. We're gonna load up and see how fast we're gonna shoot them left to right, guys. Here we go, left to right. <laughs> Just shot the foam out of him. <laughs> so there you have it, plus P ammo, two liter bottles. So what do you think guys, gold gun on the range isn't that bad when you're shooting fast, nobody ever noticed. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it was kind of fun to take it out and shoot it. It's not set up for me, so I had to, I had to really uh, transition to what the gun wanted me to do, and I couldn't really make it what I wanted to do. So anyway, you see, it, it actually went pretty good, so I'm pretty excited about it. 
I apologize for being such a short episode. We've had an extremely busy competition year, so. But I do want you to stay focused and subscribe to Michelec.com. We've got the Barrett M107 coming in. We've got some sure shot explosive targets um, from Freedom Munitions. So we've got a lot of good stuff. We've got a Desert Eagle coming in, a 50, a 44 mag, a whole bunch of neat stuff coming. So please stay patient and stay focused and see you on the range.